Hey, Playa, if you haven't texted your crush in a long time, you might be wondering, what do I say to them to restart that conversation without it being awkward? Don't worry. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through a few things that you could start doing to help rekindle that connection with your crush so you can eventually ask them out. This is the Just Beats, you're watching the Just Beef. My name is Josh, and every single week I make videos sharing tips, ideas, and stories teaching you how to be your best self. Now this is an incredibly common problem. You're texting your crush, and maybe the conversation just falls to the wayside, or you just run out of things to talk about, or even worse, they block you and you just don't know how to keep communication with them. And maybe some time has passed and you want to start talking to them again, or they unblocked you and you want to bring things back to where they were before. Well, you're only going to run into the same issues over and over until you understand why. Why did that conversation take a nosedive? Why did they read your message and then leave you on scene? If you don't really reflect on what you can do differently the next time around, you're gonna run into the same issues. So if you wanna keep that conversation going, flowing, and growing, follow these tips. Tip number one is to give them a reason as to why you're messaging them. And one of the best ways to really do that is to shoot them a DM and say something like, Hey, I was driving by school the other day and you just popped into my mind. I wanted to check in and see how you're doing. What's up? The reason is entirely up to you. It could be from watching a movie or a TV show, from visiting a place that made you feel nostalgic, or participating in some kind of activity that reminded you of them. The point of that message is to let them know that they were on your mind. It gives them the opportunity to ask a follow-up question. Why were you thinking about them and what do you think that means? So now you have the opportunity to keep the conversation going. Tip number two is to jump right back into where you were before the conversation ended. A lot of times people address the awkwardness of not talking for a long time, but I think if you jump right back into conversation and make it seem like no time has passed, it's gonna be easier for that person to also not feel awkward talking to you after not talking for so long. That might mean giving them a brief update as to what's going on in your life, sharing some awesome news about things that you're working on or working towards, and asking them questions about their life to see where they are and what's going on there. By doing that, you're going to start to rebuild the groundwork for the two of you to start to talk more frequently. And if you want to even just strengthen that even more, bring up things from the past that the two of you guys shared together. Maybe it was graduation or a school trip or a project you worked on or a class you took together. Anything that can allow that person to feel like the two of you are closer together through your shared experiences. That always helps in rebuilding a connection. Remember that time we randomly ran into each other outside of Comic-Con before your panel? <laughs> oh man, such a good time. I wish Comic-Con wasn't canceled this year. Tip number three is perhaps the most important piece here because you don't just wanna have a one-off conversation with them and have things go back to where they were. So display your confidence and make concrete plans to meet up. This is the only way that you're actually gonna to start to really build things out with your crush. You could talk to them, but you don't just wanna keep the conversation through text. You wanna move it to in person. I know that sounds super scary and like 10 steps ahead and you feel like you're at step one here, but there's plenty of ways that you can actually make it happen. That might be asking them to hang out one-on-one -on -one, or you might even wanna opt for a group hangout. Think about all the different mutual friends and connections you guys have with each other. Try to invite all those people out together so you could spend time as a group. The purpose of putting your confidence on display and asking them to hang out is to avoid the dead end. The dead end is the point of the conversation where you say something like, man, it'd be super cool to catch up one day, and they respond with, yeah, let's definitely do that. No concrete plans are made, no date is set, it's not really gonna go anywhere. And yet, people make that mistake all the time. But you're not gonna do that, you're gonna be different here. You're actually gonna reach out to your crush, reminisce about something that connects the two of you together, update them on where you are in your life, ask them questions about what's going on in theirs, and then put your confidence on full display. Let them know that you wanna hang out with them and you wanna see them. Don't just settle for a random text here and there where you end up not talking to them for a long time again. Now that you know what to do at the beginning and end of that text conversation, I put together a video that's gonna help you figure out more of the middle and to keep that conversation flowing. I'll share that with you in a second, but first I wanna give a huge shout out to all my patrons and YouTube channel members. These are the people that help support the channel every single month. So if you wanna learn how you can video chat with me one-on-one -on -one to talk about what's going on in your life, check out the link to Patreon down below. Now what I want you to do is check out the video over there on the side to learn more about how to keep a conversation going. This is a great way to kind of just really rebuild the connection you have with your crush over text. Check out the video and I'll catch you next time. As always, love and peace.